Ryan, as the year winds down and game releases slow to a, a near halt, it's good to know that we can rely on Game Room. What? I don't know. I was looking at my phone. Well, this is it's Game Room time. Oh, yay, Game Room! There you go. That's a little more like it. Uh-huh. Uh, what <clears throat> shit is happening this week? Welcome to my arcade. There are four new games for us to play now, this week. aren't there five games left in this pack? Yeah. So, so does that mean next week we're gonna get Sunset Riders because it's not here? They're never going to let you play Sunset Riders. It'll be on everyone's hard drive. Yeah, it'll, it'll be sitting there. You'll have it. Well, everyone's is a stretch, Jeff. <clears throat> everyone's playing Game Room. It's the hottest, latest. Okay, so what do we got actually this uh, week? You know, I'm gonna say forget about Sunset Riders because yo, Food Fight. Yeah, Food Fight's pretty sick, and that's a that's a, a nicely rendered Food Fight uh, uh, yeah. arcade cabinet they've got there. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. They've, they've got like the the right side panels for it and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, 1983. You know, they often half-ass their their arcade thing, but this one delivers. This one's got the goods. So Jeff, explain food fight for the folks at home who don't know what food fight is. All right, I need to get to the ice cream at the end of the level. I need to eat the cone, as it were. Yes. But these evil chefs, yeah, Frenchies, are gonna try and stop me. So you need to use. So food. I need to walk over food, pick up food, and. Throw oh God! It. Yeah. I like ice cream. What? You? I think you like ice cream too much. If, if it's not if possible, that's what it does to your head. Why are there chefs coming out of... Ah! That is that is never not disturbing. Uh, also, why... I end up with these, like, beans or whatever down here, and, or sprouts or something, and they don't they don't throw very well. It looks like you kind of get a little shotgun blast out yeah, of Yeah, a little bit. Is that... What are those? Bananas? Is that bacon? It's banana-flavored bacon. Mmm. Actually, bacon-flavored bananas... Uh, is there any any significance to the different shapes and sizes oh. of the of the chef hats? Oh, the chef got to the ice cream. No, no, I, I got touched by a chef. They they can't they can't oh. get to the ice cream. That's not a concern. He was standing on top of it and dancing. They were all dancing because I was defeated. He was mocking you. Uh, he got it. I don't want you to win any more levels of this game. Watermelon levels are. Infinite, because the watermelons just go forever. It's true of watermelons. Yeah, there's always more watermelon. So hats, any significance to hats? I think each one has a different name, Pac-Man style. Okay, but... Oh, not... let's, get, let's see that again. Let's see a little bit of that, a little bit more of that, huh? What? Remember when I did this? Yeah, you're not actually playing this. this is, no, this is an instant replay. Now, that ice cream cone is melting. Do you have, like, a time yeah. limit? Yeah, you don't want the ice cream cone to melt. That's bad. Clearly. Yeah, what the fuck? I, I, the I, I, of I, bread? I, I wonder if, if we're missing... If there's some loose cable and the colors are not right. Because the bananas are typically... No, everything Yellow. else. Everything else is. Yeah, I guess everything else is. Kind of I don't know. I don't know, man. But those are supposed to be bananas. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh. All right. So this was a, a game that used a 49-way stick, and uh, use the analog stick. It uh, it controls just fine. Get off! Step off! I, you know, the, f the fact that your head goes all crazy like that is part of what makes it disturbing. But it's the way your tongue curls up around uh. the ice cream uh, that I think really... What? Uh, really disturbs me. This is my favorite part of the new game room experience, the way that they freeze up. The, the way it like this. hangs at the end while it's trying to upload to the server or something. Yeah. It's pretty... It's... It's a great new feature. Yeah, in this constantly evolving. So I, I want to see some high-level uh, food fight play. Okay. Because uh, that's weird to me. Twenty million points. 
Yeah, some, and, something crazy clearly has happened. I know you can start on later levels and get some kind of bonus, but... He started on level one. All right, well, this is low level. Oh. So he's just making sure he... He's using every food. Not every food. I just got to get over there. But using as much food as he can before the ice cream melts. Yeah. All three. Oh, then maybe he just gets here and just... No, it doesn't stop. It goes completely shithouse. No, because again, my ice cream's still melting. Yeah. So... It's still a factor. Is there a way of telling how, like, how long these... Uh, Gameplay sessions are yeah, not just in time, but you can see time, yeah. you can see how much we've kind of gotten through. All right, let's jump ahead. Okay, he ate it. losing lives and he did spend a lot of time on that watermelon level. not enough to get 20 million points no. just look at where we are I know you know he's he doesn't even have a hundred thousand we're near the end of this replay or relatively near all right 100k a thousand buck 20 Buck 30, buck 40. Yeah. What? The game crashed. Nice. All right, we need to watch the actual end of this. Dude. So the game crashed in the emulator and registered as 20 million points on the leaderboard. Yeah, basically. Oh, I fucking love Game Room. What a piece of shit. That's great. What an incredible half-assed piece of garbage this is. All right. Am I missing an action? 1989. Considered a sequel to Green Beret, which you might know as Russian Attack. I do know it as Russian Attack. I'm not super familiar with this game. Me neither. But it does certainly look like a sequel to Russian Attack. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, this is... Clearly a sequel to Russian Attack. Dude, look at these, look at these in, insane animations. Oh my god. Look at his legs. Yeah. Look at the way he's throwing his arms and his shoulders. Dude is power walking everywhere. So drums. So it's like, no, everyone loves drum solos. It says jungle warfare to me, his drums. Why is he fighting all of these English adventurers in pit helmets? Hey, I've got an idea. What's up? Sit here for the next 20 hours. That's a really bad idea.
Think of all the points, dude. I, I feel like you could probably get him faster by moving forward. Yeah, but moving forward also opens me up to danger. With a turbo controller, I can walk away, hold down, and hit A on turbo. Oh, oh, okay, there you go. Okay. Someone accounted for that. Ah! Uh, what a crazy, it, mortar, dude. bad-looking game this is. Yeah, I, I feel like original Russian attack looks way better than this. Yeah. Oh, the animation like it might not be as advanced hardware-wise, but is bananas. Oh, take that mortar, dude. Oh, play the jar. But you can still stab dudes. All right. It seems like this is not running at the speed it's supposed to be running at. Yeah, it seems like it got a little choppy there. <laughs> you guys aren't very smart at all. You know, they would never be able to jump and, well, maybe not. They would never be able to jump and get me from here, I think. Jump from over there. Okay, yeah, he'd eventually climb up there and probably shoot me. Yeah, but you could duck. It sounds like this is running way too fast. It sounds like it's running unevenly. Like, it, it seems like it's slowing down, speeding up a little bit here and there. Scrolling a little bit the longer I stand here. It's so like, all right, come on. Whoa, what? Oh, he just, okay. I guess that was the end of the level. I just kind of auto ran. Yeah, look at those dudes. I got a knife. He's got a gun, but I've got a knife. I completed the first objective. Who's your friend? That's if we were playing two-player, dude. Don't. This is a ranked game. You can't play. What if I press start? I don't know what would happen. I want to find out. It made a weird noise. Look at the way the knife kind of animates if you if you stab it out while you're walking. Like the the, yeah. the blade is static. Or something when it when it goes out there, dude. Everything about this game looks crazy. Oh, is there like a weapon change button also? No. I guess I gotta get all these grenades out before. Do I have to jump over this blade. Do you think? Nah, it looks like everyone's able to just walk right past it. Um. I was hiding down here. So was I. Me too. What were those three guys doing down there? Standing guard. Oh, you could have used the airplane there to get up. Use this airplane to get up. I guess I could, no, it's not going to scroll. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, drum solo. More like a knife solo. Strutting. Strutting. I don't think you can climb up, though. Oh, yeah, there we Strutting go. Strutting your stuff. Look at you. Pounding on a dr like a drum machine with no concern of over rhythm or really anything. Just no, nope, just like just go, non-stop e drum solo. 
Yeah, it's got the slowdown. Kind of nasty. No, screw that up. <laughs> Wait, that ladder goes down. <gasps> Secret. Whoa. Secret. Dude, this game's deep. Secrets. Oh, come on. Ladders fucking up video games since 1987. Oh, hold on. I like how every once in a while it just decides, like, yeah, you know what? Now's a good time. Well, this is the end of the level. To, to have music. Completed that objective. Hey, stab the guys with the guns. And then uh, that thing just explodes. Well, there were no guys with guns left standing near it, and it got lonely. It exploded out of loneliness? Yeah. I know that feeling. Another kick-ass drum solo. I can see why this game remained uh, relatively obscure. I uh -huh. mean, Russian Attack is a is a classic. Uh, yeah, but it's also of a certain time. Uh huh. So you you know like the the weird stuff in it is a little bit more forgivable. Whereas this coming out, you know, years later, eighty nine. You know, gaming kind of passed the Russian Attack idea by a little bit. Um. I don't think that's really material. This is just bad. Like, this is a poor execution on a familiar formula. Yeah. This, this, like, everything moves super weird, and this feels like it was made by people that were shown still images of video games. Oh, what is that? Red guys. Oh. Gotta look out for them. That one did not hang. No, it did not. Oh, hey, I didn't notice you have a little seat now when you're playing. Yeah, for, the, for these for these weird cabinets, you get the, the old, sit down style. Little stool. For the Japanesey. Yeah, upload yeah, that. Upload that replay, replay so people can watch the way I stab. Yeah, it's super compelling. This guy is wearing an earthworm gym body and a Cartman hat. I can't remember the name of the dude from Food Fight. I want to say it's like. Charlie. Charlie Chill. Charlie Chase. Chuck U. Farley. I don't think that's actually it. I'm gonna look it up. Food fight. Look at how big that ice cream is. Look well, how big the pie he's holding is. He's, that's why he's so excited about it. And he, but he, think he, about how big his mouth has to get was, to eat that ice cream. say, he realizes he's gonna have to unhinge his jaw to eat all of that ice cream. And use his weird curly tongue. Yeah, uploading. What was the name of the 2600 game where you were a mouth and food flew across the screen and you had to try to eat good food and avoid bad food? I don't know. There was Jawbreaker, but that was, I don't think that came out on 2600. I mean, I didn't even get the gold point medal. Uh, and I was. Charlie doing Chuck. Well. Charlie Chuck, yeah, so. Great name. Charles Charles. You've won the peace flag. Now we can put a peace flag in our arcade. You happy about that? Uh, what are we playing now? Uh, this is Striker Super Pro Volleyball for the Intellivision. Great. I love the Super Pro line of garbage. They're Super Pro. Oh, this was one of the last games released for the Intellivision. Stadium Mud Buggies was the other. Oh, I had a bad case of Stadium Mud Buggies. I'm, you know, next time I go see a sporting event, I'm bringing a guy's on me down. Is he talking while he's trying to spike? It's kind of weird that he has time to make all of these faces while he's in mid-play. Yeah. Phone's ringing, dude. Phone's ringing, dude. Just answer your phone. All right. Hello. I should put him on speaker. 921 front, yeah. Brick, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. 
Great. Well, uh, does someone, yes. Okay, terrific. We'll be up. Oscar, Angelo, Jacques, and Zorba. Yeah, Zorba was, were the names of the four chefs in Charlie Chuck's do you wanna, food fight. Do you want to go uh, grab our guest while I play volleyball by myself? Um, sure. So tell people about volleyball. I'm going to tell people about the magic of volleyball here. All right. Controller help. This is clearly what we need. Okay. Move server. First, select speed, toss ball up. Hit to area, hit to area. Wait, so it uses the keypad to hit to an area? So I have to pick where on the court to move man. Next shot area, spike, dink, dink. Select new man. There's there's no way they can. There's there's no how there's no way they can make this controller do that. Let's use the right stick to aim. Okay, I guess that makes some sense. Except then the bottom left, bottom right. Oh my god. Dive. Computer versus computer. <laughs> I try to look fetching when we're recording videos of old Intellivision games. <laughs> Come take a seat. Come, come get mic'd up. Of all the things you could have had. All right. So let's just throw this on you. And you want uh, some headphones to oh, hear? No. To hear in television uh, with a striker, Paul Barnett, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, say hi to the folks. Right now. Cheering for you. What's that? Are we no, no, this isn't live. We're, no, we're no, recording no. it for later. But. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, I should plug in these headphones. Oh, good. Then I'll hear stuff. Will I hear the bleeping? There you go. Bleeping for what? Oh, that bleeping. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> right there. Do you, know, do you know how nobody knows any of the names of the people who made the sounds for these games? Uh, because they don't exist? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I assume they just access the memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this. Has, this has a good uh, crowd sound. Oh, That's... but it's also... It, um, it's also the wave sound. That's actually the waves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not actually the crowd. It's just they time every wave. Yeah, those, those, the hit. crowd is clearly dead. Look at them. They're just frozen. Well, one of them's a mermaid. Man hit net. Mermaids. Oh yeah. I don't. Those are people sitting on towels. Those are not mermaids. Point, they're point not, they're blues. Not, they're not mermaids. We're bringing some magic and imagination to this <laughs> shitty volleyball game, Jeff. All right, don't. Do not give credit where credit is not due. <laughs> hey, how do you know they're not mermaids? Oh, what a shot. Look at that. Was I'm, that actually you? That was me. I'm the world's greatest spiker super pro volleyball player. Not a lot of people know that, but... So, so you're, you're... Well, it's because you're the only striker <laughs> super pro volleyball player. It's kind of de facto. So this is through the wonderful Xbox. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is game room. We're we're taking a look at their uh, uh, emulation thing. And and so is this one of the ones that they give away free? Is this one you actually? No, have to this give is money? three dollars, just like everything else. <laughs> Every single game is yes. three dollars, uh, whether it's a uh, busted up in television game. So look at the controls for this. I mean, you know, you, you remember the original in television controller? Yeah. It had all the buttons and all that. So in this game, they actually use those buttons to determine what part of the court you're going to hit it to. So they've had to map that to the right stick, and then this button, and then some of this button, and it's. It's natural. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Smooth. Well, the, the television controller was a well-considered controller in the first place. You know, a, a 10 key is a, is a good... Uh, is, that, is that my phone causing trouble? Is your phone ringing? It's my GM. <laughs> <laughs> you take, take the call here, we'll take, pause, take the mic off pause, of you. Pause me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then Paul's just been fired. <laughs> so, <laughs> we heard you were playing volleyball for the television. <laughs> we need you here now. What, what do you think you're doing? Okay, I'm going to hit it to the to bottom part of the <laughs> court. This is... I don't know what the, the the bad part is, the game or the fact that I've spent enough time with it now that I kind of understand how it works. Yeah, you know, you're spending more time with this than I think we've spent with any other Intellivision game because we can never figure out how they go. Is it Star Raiders on Intellivision? No, that was a Atari 2600. Uh, but didn't also that have the crazy cardboard overlay on yeah, the controller? Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah. I'm not going mad, am I? And I think Star Raiders is available. For game room. So clearly, we should just jump to Star Raiders then. Cause... We've we've done. We have, we have to look at the new releases oh, okay. here, Paul. So, yeah, th so we'll, is, we'll get through those and then maybe <laughs> take a couple of requests. So they, they put out a series like every week. They put out another fist. So yeah. Of so these. this is this is my arcade because I've been keeping up with this thing ever since they started. So I have an arcade full of Garbage. bad games uh, that are that are often poorly emulated. Um, Boy, are you a, are you an emulation purist? I am. So you, you actually want all the glitches and I the do. slow yeah, loads. Exactly. And... Well, it's, it's not it's it's the things they introduce that are the problem. It's it's not that they don't accurately capture the fuck ups. It's that they introduce their own Ooh. with like oh sound dropped out or the colors are weird or the speed isn't right. Uh, but now here, here's a here's a bona fide genuine classic. Though, Warlords. Though, without a paddle controller, it's... this is not how you want to play Warlords. No, not at all. Uh, th yeah, twenty six hundred version of Warlords. Fine. This is a. a like, despite the simplicity of the look, this is a, a very serviceable... And apparently it defaults to, even though I picked single player, it defaults to four player mode. Well, you're gonna win this. Or maybe not. Well, well what I'm witnessing here is the, the side of your job that people don't appreciate. Because, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, you know, everyone believes that it's milk and honey and, and you know, fast cars and beautiful women and all the top range games. Yeah, yes, you're, only, you're only playing the finest of games They, they, they don't realize that this is... This is where the money's earned. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... <laughs> it's not your ability to enjoy new this games. This is where the dues are paid <laughs> it's, it's here your in game room. ability to have something to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> having, a, having an opinion about Warlords for the 2600 is what pays my mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> and and no, no booze anywhere. No, no not, I'm not, too a, sure not, how you're not doing. a drop. It's too early, man. <laughs> no, I don't know. Is it really, though? Yeah, pace yourselves. <laughs> if you play this for much longer, I'm not sure that that will be true. Uh, War whatever, Warlords is, is a classic, and uh, I, I actually think that uh, this is a, a a really solid version of it. Although this the controls fact okay, it's not, this this is not how you want to play Warlords. But yeah, considering you have to go in making that compromise, I've done worse things in my life. <laughs> sort of like 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 Goldeneye on the Wii. Things do, that you do you were really play it with the with the nunchuck and the controller? No, you play with the plastic controller. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's like it's it's a masochistic. Yeah. yeah. Is there even like an AI option for this? There must be, right? There has to be, right? right. Wow. Game uh, mode, game one. So game four is one player. Game five right. is doubles. All right. So let's, let's get to I can game rewind four. it. They also Whoa. added rewind. Oh, wow. Look at that sweet rewind. Power. That's the power. And, That's the power. And is this the one where they give you like little coins to put in the? You can do that. You the can do it that way. Demo yeah. version, so you can right. play a game once or twice before you have to pay to play it. But I just pay the three dollars up front because I hate myself. Jeff just buys everything. And so for three dollars, you've got you've got uh, you have the ability to play deep volley, volleyball unlimited. Yes. Yes. For the rest of my days. Wow. And so or, how, or how much is that shut working down out by by hour? Um, you know, you're getting your value for money. Someone, uh, we so we do these every week. Uh, we do these videos every week because they release games every Wednesday. And uh, someone's been keeping track. And uh, since the release of Game Room, they're saying that I've spent somewhere close to five hundred dollars on. <laughs> A lot of really bad games. But, but, but what you're doing, it's, you're a public service. Yes. You're, you're saving drunken people late yes. at night. Yes. Making terrible decisions. That's, that's we're how I sleep at night. It's by <laughs> saying things like you that. Know, we're, so. we're, we're entertaining people by punishing ourselves. That's uh, as, as best I can figure, Paul. But, but it, it's like when someone's really drunk around their house, you have to go in and hide the scissors <laughs> because they suddenly get an idea they shouldn't do their own haircut. It's not. This is the well, digital equivalent. I don't, hang out, I don't that. hang out with drunk babies, <laughs> for one, Paul. Oh, no, I'm so, so, so the the hiding I, the scissors. I don't see thing. why you don't. No, I, well, because. Well, because what, what happens is people think it's a really good idea when they're not paying attention. Certainly. And they go, we should cut each other's hair. And you're like, yes, get the scissors. <laughs> yes, we should. There's no scissors I need anywhere. a haircut so badly. Will you cut my hair? I will cut your I hair. I actually do need a haircut. 
I've been meaning to get one for a while. Or, or you know, someone suddenly says they need to wrap themselves in a snuggie, a, bl a, bl a blanket with sleeves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, that someone needs to protect those people from themselves. <laughs> to hide them. This, this AI is kind of giving you a run for your money, Jeff. It's not. Ugh. I got him. I got him. Has uh, does this version have kind of like all of the the angled momentum and and uh... for the most part, it sort of does. Um, so no, you're, you're turning that corner. But and you notice go. that like it's not emitting sparks off the back and and yeah. wearing away at my castle if I keep it. Uh, if I keep the ball caught like this. So. I don't think the 20th century can, Boom. Do, can do sparks. Can, can you literally just keep the ball forever? Yeah. I can hold down this button for the rest of my days. <laughs> could, could Even, eventually. The, the joystick will wear out. The yeah. Electric will yeah, Some part of, put, some the, part of the system will yeah. expand. Yeah, the, the sun, will, the sun will, will die and the heat death of the universe. And then who's laughing? <laughs> Me. The world's last Warlords player. <laughs> oh, all right. So, so the irony here, uh, Paul, is that they uh, so they put out basically these big packs that have all of the data for these games. Right. So they're, they're big packs that have data for for multiple weeks worth of games. So they're basically just like unlocking access to data that you already have on your system. Right. Um, so there were five games left uh, in the the current pack, which is believed to be the final pack. Uh, for game room, as the, the most of the, many of the developers uh, that worked on Chrome this, did this yes, originally, Chrome, and they're and they're they, not they so don't. much around anymore. All right. So, uh, anyways, one of those games was Sunset Riders, the Konami arcade classic, and uh, uh, out of the five, they decided to release four this week. But not Sunset Riders. The one game that people might the actually The one game want. that people are like, wow, Sunset Riders, finally. And they are holding it back. <laughs> I believe forever. <laughs> so they literally just put it out to annoy you. Yeah, yeah so the, yeah. people have already downloaded it, so it's on everyone's hard drive. Well, everyone, again. <laughs> keep saying every, it. Everyone, keep saying every, everyone. everyone in the world, because that's... Uh, everyone in the world Paul didn't even this. know this existed. Yeah. No, no, my, my, li my little boy has this. Um... And he sort of plays on it, and um, it's because Scrambles on, isn't it? Uh, and Phoenix. Yes. No, there's no, oh, there's no, no Phoenix. Phoenix but Scrambles definitely on. Scramble they released separately. Yeah. Oh yeah, they did release Scramble, but they also released that separately as a live arcade and, game. And so he was playing, and then he said, "There's all these really old games. They're probably when you were young, Dad." <laughs> and, and he basically he explained to me, "It's like you you move a square and you fire a triangle at a circle, and they're different colors. I don't know what they are." And then we got on Scramble, and uh, I still had I still had some of the moves. You still had some, some Scramble some. game left in Just you? Just some. I yeah. understood that, you know, blow up the fuel. I always love the concept of blow up fuel tanks to yeah. fuel your ship. Yeah. It's just a counter well, it's, it's how you get to the fuel. I was in, I was in a, a, oh gosh. Fabulous, there it is in all its glory. With all that purple ground. We're on the purple moon. <laughs> now it's the blue moon. It, I mean, it is, it is marvelous. Nice and then it all changes the color. Yeah. <laughs> Cyan. The, 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 the hardware can only support one palette at a time. <laughs> so. Gosh. So why not like show you all of the palettes? You know, let's give some value to the yeah. customer. But, but but it's mean. It's scrambled. Oh, uh, like it's actually a mean game. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah it's yeah. got like crazy tricky. Yeah, yeah, um, no, it, it's it's trying to steal your quarters. Yeah, it does, and it, th those rockets don't they don't launch, don't launch, don't, they do. Yeah, then it's like, oh, well, I'll be fine with these rockets, and then they get you. That's how they get you. Wow, through the cavern, and after that, we're going through Fireball um, Alley. Yeah, and then it's which is probably the best bit. You're doing really well, look, already through to this. Not even a loss of life. Simple. I've played me some Scramble in my day. I've, I've watched <laughs> Jeff play some Scramble. Sadly. I've, I've heard that about you. <laughs> uh, Late at night, through the mini blinds. Oh, oh, wow. So, m my memory of Scramble comes from um, the sports club at school. Uh -huh. It had a cocktail table version. Oh, nice. Which, of course, it's an entire language robbed to people these days. Oh, yeah, the, the, ah. the cocktail machine. Um, it, what I do now is I put my, my iPad on my table and I say, imagine <laughs> that, that, that. It was the, the it's screen, like that, only the games were better. And the screen wasn't as big as that, or as good. Right. Yeah, so it was a cocktail version, uh, which which meant that it was, whatchamacallit, that way, not that way. Horizontal. Horizontal, thank you. 
technical terms. I know, I'm just um, throwing around these uh, five dollar words like that. And it was horizontal, therefore it spread the picture. Oh, oh so the ship was out. actually really long. Oh wow. <laughs> it's like a letterbox version. Let's see Game Room do that, Jeff. <laughs> oh. I do, that English, would be nice if you, English if you, high school sports clubs have your stupid game if you, room. If you could emulate the way that arcade machines broke, I think that would be really <laughs> exciting. Just like, oh, the joystick will be kind of messed up. Um, it can't go left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I, I've got a Jammer 2 cabinet at home, mm. which is the big upright up yeah. ones. And yeah. I've got a couple of circuit boards that I plug in. And uh, they're great because when you switch it on, it sparks and crackles and makes terrible noises. Great. And you, it you it might takes, want to have that looked at, Paul. Well, it takes about eight minutes to warm up. Um, and that then, sounds like our Street Fighter 2 machine that we have back in the bar. It's, uh, and the only board like game common. I have in there currently is Cabal. Mm. And it's, it's Cabal, it's an import copy of Cabal. Oh, nice. Just to make it totally... Cool. So I, I prefer the Atari 400-800 version of Star Raiders. Well, no. It was a much better <laughs> that's, version That's a of connoisseur the game. cut right there. Uh, oh, yeah. But, uh, slightly more triangles. Yeah. Slightly more squares. And it came with a keyboard, so it, you know, you, you, it, it felt a little more natural than this uh, goofy controller that, that they had for this. Where they've, they've gone and, and I believe they've mapped, yeah, so they've wow. ended up mapping those things to various buttons so, here. So, so but, but, in all, but in all seriousness, what, what practical reasoning is, other than the nostalgia, buying mm -hmm. back into your childhood. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, do we legitimately say, hey, you're a gamer, you're a young gamer, you probably weren't even born when these come out, you really should look at them? Or do you go, no, actually, it's clearly mad. Um, I just got killed. Yeah, n no. Well, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's an entire conversation in two well, words. Well, think about, <laughs> but think about MAME. You know, it's like all these games are ostensibly out there for free. So someone has to come along and say, we need to present a legal alternative uh, to at least try to get people to care about this old stuff. And they came up with this, and they're trying to sell it for, you know, like I said, $3 a game. Um, but for a lot of the license holders, it sounds like $3 a game is not worth it for them. So a company like Namco, instead, they're just going to go take all their games and release it on their own on disc for $19 or $20 or something like that. Um, and instead of getting roped into this horrible... You know, it, so it was over a year ago now, I think, when, when they first announced this, we did an interview, and the guy said, like, yeah, we're talking about putting Dreamcast games in it. And all this. So at some point, someone had grand plans for this. But instead, all they ever got was Activision, Intellivision, Atari, and Konami. Wow. And it, they've just been it's all they've been putting these out. games out three to five a week from those four manufacturers. But Sometimes and, two. And they've done all that emulation in the first two weeks. Yeah, That's exactly. a big library. Yeah. A lot of the yeah. games run on the same. I mean, all the 2600 games obviously do, but a lot of the arcade games all run on the same hardware. So it's like, yeah, you have Scramble, uh, and you also have uh, Super Cobra. But, but, but what I mean is, that, so uh, you're, you're 14 years old, and you have the opportunity of playing Streets of Rage. Not obviously through here. No, but, no, no. But, but through Xbox Live Arcade, it's available. Yes. Do you go? Yes. You have a duty as a, a person interested in computer games. You should go and play these games, or do you go? Actually, they're brilliant. You should go play them anyway. What? What? Well, think about like the popularity of of chip tunes and and the appeal of the eight bit aesthetic uh, that that exists for people that weren't around when I've it got was here. On my iPad. Exactly. I've got modernizer. Uh, but but so it's it's. It's one of the, it's it's like it's nostalgia for a time that you weren't there for. Like we've all experienced that, you know. There's it's, there's always like that that cultural uh, need from one generation to the next, and this is uh, you know this kind of stuff I think is the subject of that. These are black I don't, and white I don't, movies. I don't, yeah, I don't think Game Room uh, does a particularly great job of, of presenting them, and it, it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of the right things to, to really do it. Well, I, um, well but, I bring it up because we, we were at EA, we were having a, a big meeting. We were trying to put together, effectively, a game list, like a reading list. Yeah. And, and the problem you end up with is, uh, what can you get people to play that is actually informing them in a strong, structured way to the future? And, and what is it is literally just indulging, uh, yeah, it was cute and neat, but we're way past that now. We don't need to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to learn. Right. And so I find it interesting that they, they do it, and it's like, well, if you're trying to, get, trying to get into game design or trying to get into game reviewing, is it worth your time to literally harvest through all these old games, or do you go, really, it doesn't matter? 
I think it depends on the type. For reviewing specifically, I'd say it depends on what types of games you're trying to review. If you're going to try and review iPhone games and, and iPad games where the level of complexity is sometimes close to a lot of these old arcade games, it, it's helpful to know what they're stealing from. Right. But if you're reviewing more modern games or trying to design more modern games, you probably want to stick to games released in the last, like, 15 years or so, because the people stealing ideas are going to be stealing it from those games, not these. But, I mean, even if it is indulgent, like, I, I don't see the harm in broadening your base. Being reminded, Paul, that, you know, it's easy to have the, the uh, you know, the, the rose-colored glasses about how great things were in the 8-bit days. Uh, Game Room has been a terrific reminder of a lot of the bullshit that was put out for video games in the 80s. Uh, there was a lot of junk, and they've captured a lot of that junk here for $3 a pop. But, but do you get to Pac-Man Championship Edition DX through doing this? Uh, no, you play Geometry Wars and oh. say, we, we own Pac-Man, let's make it like that. Let's just merge two of them together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you see, that seems fair. All right, we need to end this video, because now we're just watching Jeff play Time Pilot. I could play Time Pilot for the rest of my life. Paul, thanks for joining us here on this week's Game Room. A uh, quick look. Jeff, go to hell. Uh, everyone else, uh, have a happy Merry Christmas. <laughs> As he dies. <laughs> nice.